What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today is day number 73. We've got 11 days left of this video series. Today is chest day. It's DTP chest, all chest, all the time. We've got two moves to get through. Here's the workout. Now if you've got access to a bench, it's going to be flat dumbbell bench press. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. I've got bands, so I'm going to use a band on a hook and I'm going to do chest press with the bands, same rep range. But if I can do more, I'm going to do more and I'm going to go to failure. So every set is going to be to failure. If you watch Chris's video that he dropped, and I'll put a link to Chris's YouTube video down in the description below, he talks about how you can optimize working from home, isolating certain muscle groups when not being able to get to the gym. But this is going to be kind of like that, except I have bands, so I'm going to use my bands. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, chest press. The last chest move is going to be fly. Flat dumbbell fly if you got dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, it's going to be flat banded fly. So I'm going to use the band, work my way down from 10 all the way up to 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Really working the mid part of the chest. We're going to try and torch the chest as many muscle fibers as we possibly can with these moves to failure every single time. Then as per usual, we're going to finish off with an hour of cardio right over there on the treadmill. It's chest day, it's best day, let's go. Let's make sure we get those nice striations as we're dropping body fat. We're gonna optimize this chest day because it's our second to last chest day in the entire series. Hopefully you had your pre-cage, hopefully you're pumped and ready to go. It's go time. I'll see you right over there at the home gym. workout is done. Those two chest moves, the flat press and the fly, feel nice and tight in the chest. Really um, cardiovascularly spent because of how many reps it was. We're going to drink our recaged right now and then we're going to go do an hour cardio. One other thing that I've added to the stack is Crea Clear. It's uh, cage muscles, creatine monohydrate. It's encapsulated, so it's not gonna cause any stomach issues or anything like that, but I'm in the loading phase right now, which is four to five days of taking basically three times as many servings to get your body loaded, ready to go, so that you have that full creatine, so that your body is fully saturated. But I'm um, gonna go do cardio uh, right now. See you downstairs. Cardio done, workout done, cardio done. Whew. Even when it's at home, it's not fun. <laughs> Some beautiful light going on outside. Look at this light. Let's see if we can get a pretty time lapse. About nine o'clock, had breakfast, which was three quarters of a cup of egg whites with two slices of wheat bread with some spinach. Just sprayed with olive oil, cooking spray, didn't use any butter or any oil or anything, saving my oils, my fats for later. Got a conference call at 9.30, cooking some chicken right now, cooking some potatoes in the microwave. Sunny day, sun's out, getting some good uh, natural light coming into this window. Open in the shades today. All right, we're at Vitamin Shop right now. Uh, gotta go pick up some Hydrocharge. 
because we've been out for the past couple days and supposedly they have some. Let's go. Got the subs, hydro charge. It was buy one, get one half off. Had a $5 reward. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh God. The guy in there was a very nice gentleman. He had never seen him before, but I guess he's into competitive bodybuilding. And he said he used the hydro charge to prevent leg cramps during legs day. And I'm like, yeah, I've been taking it for like years and it still doesn't help, but it tastes delicious. All right, let's go home. Two point seven ounces of potato, three ounces of chicken, mixed vegetables, a little bit of cheese, a little bit, because life is pain. Oh, it's three thirty. Got to heat up a meal. I'm exhausted. I just want to lay down and sleep. Legs are still sore. I think it's gonna be more potatoes and chicken, to be completely honest. But glad we got some hydro charge from the vitamin shop. Otherwise we were super out and I was getting bummed out. I was getting a lot of caffeine because of drinking amino synergy. But gonna probably have another three ounces of chicken and maybe two or three ounces of rusted potatoes and some gross vegetables. Ah. It's 5.30, just got done with work for the day. So gonna go downstairs to I don't know, I think I might go outside and do some cardio. It seems like it's somewhat warm still, but my legs hurt. So if I do cardio outside, if I do walk, it's gonna be a slow walk. Oh God, oh, I'm feeling it, okay. Construction outside is basically done, so at least it's gonna be quiet. If it's windy, it's gonna suck. I'm starving. Came outside to do cardio outside, like to walk outside and it is much colder than I thought it was gonna be. I am chilly. And number one, I'm Breda. glad I brought this jacket with me. Number two, I need to zip it. I probably should have brought a hat. I'm not gonna make the full 30 minutes out here. This is too cold. I didn't realize I was this sore. I knew I was sore. I was standing all day, but I guess I didn't feel as the soreness that I'm feeling now, it's kind of just all built up. Oh God, I am like hobbling, like hobbling around. It doesn't help that it's really cold. And I think I'm just gonna go around the block once, then finish off on the treadmill in the warm downstairs. Maybe the warm, warmer temperature will warm my legs up a little bit because gosh darn it, this sucks. Ugh. All right, might have been like five or seven minutes, so I'm gonna finish off inside now. <laughs> okay. All right, let's finish this down here on the treadmill. Seven minute walk outside, 53 minute walk in the basement, one hour cardio done. Everything hurts legs, well, everything below the waist hurts. Can't even walk up the stairs. So that's it for day number 73. It was an interesting workout, chest day with just bands. It's been a while since we've done that, but felt the pump indeed. Cardio has been a struggle today. My legs hurt, like real bad. Like walking around just is the worst. Sitting down and standing back up is the worst. It's two days after legs day. That's pretty par for the course. So if you've never felt an intense like doms, like a couple days after legs day, that's what I'm feeling right now. Trying to hydrate, trying to eat, trying to stress, trying to do everything I possibly can. But it's just something you kind of got to go through and work that lactic acid, work that pain out of your system. Long work day, long calls, a little bit stressful, but that beautiful sunlight was helping brighten the mood. Uh, we're three days 
in work from home at this point so getting used to just this is what life is going to be like moving forward thinking about the future thinking about what the workouts are going to be like uh, after this is done so after next week is fully completed did that really terrible cardio session where i walked outside for seven minutes and then on the treadmill for 53 downstairs we got it done but it wasn't pretty but the point is we got it done but that's it for day number 73. Thanks so much for watching. This is the Bill Driscoll YouTube channel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know my videos come out every single day, 73 days in a row. I'm only like a week and a half or so to go left, so stick with me, stay tuned. More awesome stuff coming up. I'm gonna go to sleep, but I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow for an awesome shoulders workout. Good night, everybody. Be good to each other. Be safe out there. Wash your hands, get some sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.